in the 17th chapter of John's Gospel, as part of his so-called farewell discourse. Jesus prays that all of his disciples, and that presumably means us, should be one. Well, that's easy, right? We just need to erase all the denominational boundaries that have grown over these past 2,000 years, have a, a big, happy family that never has any sort of disagreement or conflict, and we'll be living into that prayer, right? No, actually, I don't believe that's what this is all about at all. Unity is an incredibly difficult goal, but also a very misunderstood one. There is actually such a thing as a relationship or a community where the unity is perhaps too strong. There's a sense of oneness where there's no difference between the minds, the hearts, the wills of the individuals involved. I don't think that this is what Jesus' prayer for unity is about at all. I actually think it's a clarion call in any kind of relationship, a distant one that's marked by conflict and rancor, or an incredibly close one where two or more individuals seem to have hearts and minds that beat as one, to have just the right amount of space between them, a space that the God to whom Jesus' prayer is addressed can occupy. Let's not forget, this wasn't a commandment. Jesus didn't say, hey, disciples, you all need to be one. Jesus prayed to God the Father that we all might be one. This is highly significant. It's a clear reminder that Christian unity, human unity in general, is achieved only when there's just the right amount of space between two individuals or a whole community of individuals or anything in between that God can occupy and be the mediator and the creator of the sort of unity for which Jesus prayed. So let us seek in all of our relationships to prayerfully allow for just that amount of space. If the relationship is too distant, if there's conflict and rancor, let's seek to move just a little bit closer with God's help. If it's a little bit too intertwined, if there's a sense that the we so far outshines the I, that we've lost any sort of individuality and integrity, let's pray again with God's help for just the right amount of space. This is the sort of unity for which Jesus prayed. This is the sort of unity that is actually elusive but sustainable in human life.